no <laughs> there's only so much finessing that you can do there's literally only so much finessing that you can do could be a track be a man oh i be a man i'm gonna be a moon boom baby <laughs> Hey guys, hey guys, what it do? Hey guys, happy Friday. So I am just trying to start off the vlog, I'm not gonna lie, I am honestly just trying to start off the vlog looking cute, of course, because I know when I take off my makeup. <laughs> so yeah, but hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another weekly vlog i just finished filming if you're on my instagram if you follow me on instagram you have already seen this look or you know this vibe but yeah this is the day <laughs> this is the day that i filmed but it's friday it is snowing so bad i think i have to show you guys but it is snowing not so bad like it's not so bad it's okay but it's snowing um and we have to go to work today i am so proud of myself I woke up very early, filmed, I actually did my workout, filmed, I didn't show you guys, but I'm sorry, but that's what I did, <laughs> did my workout, filmed, I filmed one transition video, one eye makeup video, and then one TikTok, like look at me, I am so proud of myself, but I got all of that out of the way, and then the content for today has already been edited, so I had to just post that on my Instagram, consistency, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i'm happy that i'm actually like putting in the work because if you don't put in the work you're never gonna see the results that's just what it is and this year i just want to keep showing up that's all i say it's enough to just show up show up show up show up my my camera why anyway ignore my camera okay she's just disrespectful sometimes i just wanted to say that i have some clips from 2022 okay i have some clips because i was recording i was vlogging that whole time but i just never really posted them but i was thinking to myself you know what i did like you know black friday i got some things and i have a lot of clips that you know i'm just gonna go ahead and put them in this vlog because i'm not gonna lie this week i haven't had enough footage like i I'm, my life is just so boring but it's not even about my life being boring honestly like i don't go out as much so there are some weeks where it's not like activity filled as much as like other weeks which is perfectly fine with me i have slow weeks and then i have like weeks where i'm doing this doing grocery you know going around um and stuff like that and that's fine also so i'm just gonna go ahead and insert some clips from last year um whatever you know you guys will see you guys will see i will go ahead and insert some clips so sephora haul and just a few other clips from 2022 and then i will see you guys when that is done all right but yeah before you go wait before you go and up close if you didn't watch the instagram and if you don't follow me on instagram really really let's just talk for a minute let's just let's have a second and have this conversation why don't you follow me on instagram um i mean respectfully why don't you follow me on instagram if you like makeup content and if you like my content here you really should be following me on instagram and tiktok because your girl <laughs> this year i'm putting in like a whole different vibe into my tiktok i realized that Initially, what I would do with my TikTok is I would just post the same thing that I'm posting on my Instagram on my TikTok, which is fine. I don't mind that. But then I'm like, mm, I think I want to give you a reason to go and follow me on TikTok. Because if you follow me on Instagram and you see the same thing and you go to my TikTok and you're seeing the same thing. I mean, that's fine. But it doesn't make it anything extra so you need to go to my tiktok for a reason so you're gonna go to my tiktok to get different beauty content it's still beauty but what you see on my tiktok you not see in my instagram or you might not see on my instagram it will be on my instagram or it will not be on my instagram so i have days where i will film just for tiktok so follow me guys i have like really nice beginner friendly videos on tiktok so definitely go ahead and check that out and yeah Let's get into some clips from last year, all right? I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Sephora's here. So Sephora delivered my order. I got this um, during their Black Friday sale. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what we have here. I'm excited. 
Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. So, my father is up. So, I had to quickly go and check on her. She um, took a nap and she just woke up. So, in Sephora, the first thing we have here is Polish Choice. This is the Polish Choice um, Perfectly Balanced Foaming Cleanser. Oh, I think I have a little spilly. <laughs> Look at that. That makes me mad. Like, look at that. That's not nice. But, I mean, for what's worth. Uh, no, it's, it's sealed here. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> I needed a cleanser. Um, because I was running out of the one that I had. And then I wanted to try one from Sephora because they had a sale on Black Friday. So I'm like, let me check them out. And then I did. And then I also got this. Um, so this is Glow Recipe. Um, it's their kit. This is their mini sized. It's so small though. I thought it was going to be bigger than that. Because in the photo, it kind of looked a little bigger. But I'm not so disappointed because I was just, I knew that it was the mini, but I just didn't think it was going to be this small. But again, um, this is like whatever value sets for. I got this for like, a, I think for like 20 something dollars in everything, which is really good um, considering what you, you know, buy Glow Recipe products for. So I was, I was like literally waiting for Black Friday so that I could buy stuff off, um, um, from Sephora because you know a girl has a long list of things that she wants to buy and if I say I want to buy everything, uh, no. So I have to prioritize. So right now what I'm doing is I, if I need like a product from Sephora. I will buy it like one product at a time, you know. So let me show you guys what I have here. Um, so the first, ouch, it's so well packaged. <laughs> so the first product here is um, the Niacinamide Dew Drops. This is so small. It literally looks like a nail polish. Like this is legit so small. This is so small. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like it's so small. And also because I use a lot of products. That's why I'm complaining because I'm not the type of person who will use like two drops and like, you know, I would do three, four, five drops because I paid for it. <laughs> um, next thing that I have here is the hyaluronic um serum so i also really did need so that's the reason why i purchased this because i needed <laughs> oh my goodness my camera is saying no i'm not picking up because it's too small way too small for us to pick up so i needed some serums and cleansers so when i saw the set i'm like you know what this gives me um, a lot of things in one so let me just go ahead and buy this but now that I'm looking at it I mean it gives me a chance to also try products from glow recipe because I've, I never have um, so when I like it I could buy you know the big ones and then the next one that I have here is the retinol eye cream which is really nice um, I don't mind eye cream being this size but I'm pretty sure it doesn't go deep but again, with eye cream, you don't even use so much of that, so that's fine. And then the next thing that I have here is, this is, this is, like, so that's why I got this, because it's, it has, like, six products, no, five products in here. The next thing that I have here is the Pink Juice Moisturizer. It's also so small. But their packaging though, their packaging is so cute. Let's just, I'll give it to them. Packaging is very, very cute. Very, very my style. 
I love like you know cute skincare packaging makeup skincare if it's cute I'll buy it and then the next thing here is the um, toner so this is the fat it's kind of like the fat water so I really like this as well um, but if I have to repurchase this I think I want to buy the fat water from um, Rihanna Fenty I think I really want to try that product and yeah so that's what I have from glow recipe um, I'll try these with you um, tonight when I'm taking off my makeup and this is also a makeup remover so we'll try it together and then I have um, I also got this here so it's the Sephora brand itself but it's their lip balm slash scrub the reason why I actually purchased this was because of the scrub yikes oh my goodness I hate I hate <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, it's really nice. I like. I kind of like how it looks like. It's really nice. So it's like a scrub, and then it's also. And then it has mint, peppermint. So that's really nice. Cause the way the weather is dry. And my lips are always cracking. I mean, I have lip balm everywhere. That's literally what it is. I have lip balm here in the bathroom, in the car, at work, like in my purse, like everywhere because it's insane. Okay. And then, oh, so they were supposed to give me two samples of perfumes. I don't know what happened. Instead, they gave me these samples. <laughs> kind of not happy because I was really looking forward to the perfumes. They were, you know, like literal travel sizes, but I still wanted to, you know, try them because I've been trying out a lot of these like minis. This is the Versace um, Bright Crystal. I also have the Dylan dylan crystal or dylan something some dylan turquoise yes dylan turquoise i have that in my bag that's what i use right now it smells really good my even when i wash my clothes they still smell like it i'm like oh that's what i'm talking about so i really wanted to try some other perfumes from them you know because i love perfumes and i definitely want to invest in some good perfumes when i can so I'm on a hunt for like trying the mini versions of a lot of perfumes just so that I know exactly what my vibe is because I haven't been in a perfume game for a long time um, just because my taste is too big for myself, okay? My taste is really big and I just could not afford to buy the kind of perfumes that I wanted, you know, and I still cannot afford to buy them. I'm not even going to lie because, I mean, I can, but my priority list right now, I'm not going to be splurging on a perfume, but uh, maybe Christmas, I'll buy myself something like that, you know, my birthday, you know, I would treat myself to like a good bottle of perfume, but right now I'm in the face of like just trying um, out different scents. So that when I'm buying, I know exactly what I want to splurge on. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed because I really don't have any use for these. I mean, oh, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's it from Sephora. Um, I'm just gonna... The vlog is almost done. So I will go and check on from if I have to feed her. You know, do mummy stuff as per usual. And I will see you guys when I'm taking off my makeup. All right. Welcome to Self Care in Real Life, a podcast where we obsess over giving women the tools that they need to choose happiness and create more joyful moments. Find all of the gems that I have created for you to help you cultivate life-shifting healing experiences. So let's get right into today's episode. So as we get closer to the new year, I have been just thinking a lot about goals and just how to be better, you know, like really what is 
self-care in real life, right, for me. Exercise more, like me. Commit to walking just 20 minutes every day, even if it's just going outside and walking around your neighborhood, but commit to walking around at least 20 minutes a day. That 20 minutes will grow, and then you can increase and build, again, the new habit. Me, as the internet says. So start small and be patient with yourself and give yourself lots of grace. The same grace, same grace that you be giving them raggedy people outside. Yes, that's the grace we want you to give yourself. Remember that progress is way more important than perfection. And perfection literally does not exist. So this week, let's set clear, targeted, realistic goals that you and I can both achieve. Let's connect over to Patreon and let me know what small goals you are conquering this week. The second thing that we're going to do is make a plan of action. Discipline will require planning. So write down your goals and action steps and then put them somewhere where you'll see them every single day. Habit stacking, I know I was doing it, but I didn't know what it was called. But if you've never heard of habit stacking, this really could be the key to our success in creating changes in our lives. We can all agree that there are certain tasks that we have on a daily basis, our daily routines, that never slip through the cracks, like having a morning cup of coffee. The idea behind habit stacking is that if you want to have a new daily habit, simply piggyback that task on a habit that you are already doing daily. The people who research the things on the internet, you know, people, well, they say it's easier for your brain to actually develop a new habit. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> so it is, I'm back from work basically. It's late, it's 11 p.m okay at this point you guys know that i don't sleep early because obviously my work time is just not good enough for me to sleep early i'm about to shave my face and i have a few could you know like i have a few things that i wanted to say like my hair my hairline i think i'm ready to to finally go see someone let me just get into shaving my face because so if i have a video on how i shave my face i think i'll link it up here for you guys so that you can watch that but that is like an actual detailed video so i'm not gonna talk through this i'm just gonna like chit chat with you guys but like about my hair i think i am definitely ready you know to to get it looked or like just basically to have them take a look at my hair because like i'm just i'm just ready you know when you get to the stage where you're like you know i feel like i'm just ready to take care of this thing you know because i've done everything that i know possibly um that i can do you know i've used oils i've done everything and it's just still not it's not cutting it you know you guys follow me here you see my progress i don't shy away from like sharing stuff about my hair and like my hair journey on my social media platforms but also you know it's like literally one of my biggest insecurities um i mean i it's not something that like bothers me to the extent that like i'm not able to like show it up on camera because i definitely don't mind but also I know for a fact that I wish I had hair on my hairline and this, this is just me being very transparent with you guys I honestly wish I had like a full hairline and you know I'm able to wear my hair out and because I'm not the kind of person I see I, I see that as I'm growing I love my natural stuff I don't know if it's like natural stuff like don't get me wrong I don't mean like natural stuff natural stuff but like I just love my hair I wish I had like long enough natural hair to be able to wear it out because that's my hair you know like i love just the idea of like you know my these are my own nails you know like i just like that and but i also love wearing wigs so <laughs> please don't play with a girl <laughs> i just i'm a beauty person so i like everything that you know that just generally encompasses beauty but also you know for me i'm like i really wish that i had some hair around my um i mean like i had hair you know my hairline wasn't receding because 
I'm tired. I'm just really tired of not having hair to finesse. I'm just like over it. You know, like I'm over it. Like there's just so much self love that you can give to yourself, you know. And I know a lot of times people will be like self love and self love and self love. See, it's not see <laughs> i have a lot of things on my chest okay i want to actually do a get ready with me because i have a lot of things on my chest that i just you know want to share with you guys and you know so my camera just shut off um but just as i was saying there's just so much self-love that you can give to you know certain parts of your, your i don't know like i feel like if you don't have if you don't have it you cannot relate you literally cannot relate you can't feel the way i feel you know you it won't make sense to you like to you you would say that i don't think it's anything i feel like you should be able to wear it out i feel like you should be comfortable to finesse it but if you have it you know that no <laughs> There's only so much finessing that you can do. There's literally only so much finessing that you can do. Because sometimes you just wish that it was different, you know? Sometimes you just wish that it was different. And that's just the case. You know, I feel like I've gotten to the stage where I'm like, I really, really wish <laughs> that I had some hair on my hair, my, you know, edges. And then... I'm also thinking about, you know, like I wear wigs and everything and that is also definitely putting pressure on my hairline and I know that, like, I know, like I literally know. But sometimes I just don't want to deal with my hair, like I'm not even kidding. Sometimes I don't want to deal with my hair because I have to go to work or I have to film content and I'm like, you know what, because my curly hair routine, you know, like I love to do that but then also every day you have to touch it up and it's just a lot it's just a lot and then sometimes i'm like i really wish i just had my hair and you know like my hairline was okay and it's stressful i'm not gonna lie but that's enough of me being vulnerable <laughs> it's just a gemini in me okay that is just the gemini in me we're always so protective of our like feelings and everything you know what i'm saying but anyway yeah so um, I'm ready. I'm ready to make a decision about my hair. So whatever I decide, you guys will obviously know and see. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a shower. I get my face a touch up. You know, I did my brows like yesterday, so I don't want to touch it again because she honestly doesn't look bad. But yeah, I'm just gonna shower and um, edit. For the rest of the night, fall asleep, wake up tomorrow, we go again. Tomorrow is Saturday and I have work on Saturday, you guys already know. So, um, Saturday is literally my Friday. <laughs> so, yeah. I just kind of wanted to rant about my hair. I'm not even going to lie. I literally just wanted to rant about my hair. And like, because I, I was looking at my videos from Snapchat from like 2015 and goodness my hair has been through a lot <laughs> like if you're an og of snapchat you know that it goes all the way back like i was looking at some of my photos from 2015 i'm like oh my goodness <laughs> i used to feel like i was that girl look at me with my makeup from 2015 like this is literally just a throwback you guys see how far back the girl has been trying to like you know like the girl she's been doing the makeup like this is 20 what this is 20 i was so serious doing the makeup that was me in like 2015 or 2016 doing a gig i had a gig with maybelline in ghana if you guys don't know I am a pro makeup artist, like, if you don't know, like, I'm literally certified to do makeup, but certified from, like, back home in Ghana, so I don't have, like, a dermatologist certificate here, no, but I have, you know, a certificate that allows me to do people's faces.
I mean people's makeup back home so I had a gig with Maybelline and that time I was an upcoming makeup artist but Maybelline gave me a shot and I'm so happy that they did that they literally gave me a shot as like doing makeup for people and that to me was like period okay so that gave me so much confidence I worked on a few models and I'm looking back right now I'm like oh I was really pushing myself I was like pushing my wit and that was the time I was also really into influencing and like I wanted to be like this blogger that was you guys have no idea like I'm not even joking this was the time I was working on my website I was working on my website so this was like 2015 I had a website I have been through all the phases of being an influencer you have no idea if you're an old school person like if you've been following me for a while on like my Instagram and like other platforms you probably know I've been on radio you know like I don't even know why I'm talking about all these things but I just was going back to my snapchat to look at like my hair from years ago and it was still the same and then I saw you know some of the pictures and I'm like oh my god it's been like I've I've been doing this like I literally have been doing this so don't nobody should like like nothing should let me feel like you know like you know sometimes I get in my head and I feel like you're not supposed to be on this face like but I've been doing this like I started doing this like a long time ago I don't know like I don't even know what other words to use but I literally have been doing this for so long like look at 2015 I was trying to take photos I had made up my room in a way that it was like an art gallery that I could take photos like 2015 like mm. but anyway it just makes me like going back and looking at those photos now I feel like it just reiterates why I have so much love for what I do on my social media platforms. It, you have no idea. Like, it just gives me so much joy to sit down with a camera and just film a makeup video. You know, do a tutorial. Talking about that, I want to come back to doing YouTube tutorials because I haven't done that in a long time. And it's been literally hitting me like come back to doing tutorials i literally feel it so much in my spirit that i have to come back to doing tutorials and i love teaching you guys like i always say that i love not like teaching you guys like i love sharing makeup tutorials with you guys things that i know things that i've learned over the years you know tips and tricks and makeup is all about practice so the more you do it the more you get better so people who have been doing it for like 10 years 15 years they have all the tips that you need and I do and so I'm like why have I stopped doing tutorials because at a point I felt like I, that was in the space for me because the tutorial space on YouTube I'm not gonna lie is big and sometimes I feel like a little fish swimming in that ocean but also right now I'm like I'm not gonna compare myself to anybody okay like I'm just really here to share what I know with people, what I love with people, the makeup tips and tricks that I love, what I feel like works for me, work for other girls who are like me, other girls who relate to me. And that's just all I want to think about right now, really. I'm not thinking about what competition is out there, like what other people are doing, you know, like a lot of that got into my head and that's why I wasn't doing tutorials. So I'm not even going to lie to you guys. That is literally why I haven't filmed any tutorials because I feel like it, it's like... Are you sure <laughs> you but i'm like no don't do that to yourself okay people have the reason why they come to watch your videos even if it's just five people they know the reason why they like your videos and you know just keep teaching from that place of passion that to me is all i want to do i just want to keep teaching and like sharing with people from a place of passion because that is how i started i started because i love doing makeup like i love doing makeup because my mom would always do makeup and i always saw her as such a cute woman i'm like i have to learn how to do my makeup you know <laughs> so i am coming back to doing makeup and with that being said i will clean up my space you know like i'll talk to you guys about so i've been talking for nine minutes i feel like it's a long time so let me just you know let me just let this clip go to another clip because I, i'm not gonna keep talking and i have to like shower and settle down and like relax and sleep for work tomorrow so yeah i'm coming back to doing makeup tutorials so you guys will see me soon <laughs> i'll see you guys tomorrow like i really will see you guys tomorrow at this point bye <laughs>
morning guys I can't believe I sound like that but I sound terrible <laughs> but good morning um, happy Monday happy Monday guys ah, I don't feel too good I don't feel too good uh, so I, two days ago or yesterday was it yesterday? Oh, it's yesterday was Sunday, Saturday. So Saturday, my throat started feeling a little itchy, but not so bad. I didn't think it was anything. And then yesterday, yesterday, it was also feeling the same way in the morning. My throat was feeling very itchy in the morning yesterday. And then so so yesterday what I did is yesterday I actually went to work so that's why you guys didn't really see me yesterday I decided to pick an extra shift at work you know just to make some extra money and so I came back home and I decided that I was gonna tidy around the house because you guys know every weekend I tidy around the apartment um, it makes me feel good like when we go into the next week and the whole place is clean so every weekend I try so yesterday I tidied up tidied up and then I started to feel like actual sick sick you know but I I still don't want to accept it I'm not gonna lie cuz yesterday my throat I mean the, my throat the itchy throat went away and then now I started to have these little coughs and now I have like an actual headache I have a very bad headache I can't even believe I'm talking I know I believe I'm talking because you know I want to film okay today is my content creation day I sound like absolute shit um, but I really want to create content because I promised myself that I was going to be consistent literally this whole year but I have a very bad headache, like my entire, you know, my forehead area. I feel like the headache and then I have body pains. I have, I feel like my body pains is even worse. Like I have, I feel terrible. That's all I can say. I feel terrible. I feel cold. You know, when I pack up and then I feel warm, it's like... It's like almost malaria or fever. I have no idea. But also, like I said, I don't, I don't know. I'm being, I feel like I'm just being, I don't want to accept it. Because I never really get sick. I'm not going to lie. Ever since I was a child, the only sickness that I've, has always like messed with me was ulcer. Because my mom had it and I seem to have gotten it too. Uh, so everybody who knows me just knows that I have like a stomach thing because I always have like a bad stomach I don't like to say I have a bad stomach but I don't have the you know the digestive system that everybody has I, I mean it's good it's good but it's just like different so with that being said I never really get sick I never really get headaches like I don't remember the last time I had a cold could have been like two years ago or a year and a half ago that's how long ago I never really get sick and I always pride myself in that and I'm always like kudos to my immune system because she's always strong and she's always fighting things for me that I don't see but sometimes I guess she just they over here <laughs> they literally over here so I just woke up I woke up I took a shower you know just just to give me, you know, some like, just to make me feel like, yeah, activity is about to happen. Because I don't want to still be in sleep mode and like, I'm cold and in my blanket and whatever. So I took my shower, I went to make myself some green tea. I love green tea. I love green tea. But I added some lemon and some honey to this just so that it could help me, you know, hopefully, hopefully it helps me feel better at least for a few hours so I can film some content because I really really had plans of creating content today goodness anyway I realized that I hadn't checked in with you guys and I'm like you know what let me pick because yesterday I really wanted to pick the camera when I was cleaning up the apartment 
but then also I was feeling terrible and then I was like I really don't have so much strength to like I feel like I didn't yesterday I didn't have the bandwidth okay I didn't have the bandwidth to have you guys around the whole time and then also be cleaning so because you know when you're on camera you have to be thinking oh what angle so then like should i stand here so that the camera is able to capture this or should i do this and you know sometimes because of b-rolls there are some clips that you have to take like two three times just so that there's continuity and then just so that it can make sense so filming vlogs and like you know just generally filming sometimes is not easy so yesterday i'm like i no I'm just gonna take my time, tidy up the apartment. No, I didn't even do everything. You know, I still have laundry to do. I don't know, so maybe hubby is gonna have to like, I don't know, he's always very helpful. He has OCD, so he literally likes to clean. So I'm grateful for that. So I'm not even thinking about that part. He will definitely take care of the place. Um, but yeah, I, I don't feel good. I really didn't want to come on here looking like this like I literally don't feel good I don't care for my hair like I don't feel good you know when you're that kind of like sickly where you literally don't care for anything your appearance is the last thing that you could think about that's how I feel right now and I hate that I feel like that's because I'm about to film or because I want to film and if I don't care about my appearance on a filming day the video is I'm not gonna jinx it knock on wood it's not going to happen um I, I'll, I'll try to film anyway anyway i just wanted to check in with you guys let you guys know how i feel i sound terrible i i'm cold i have a headache like i literally my head is bashing um but i just wanted to check in with you guys say hi you know i'm gonna get into finishing the vlog so that I can upload it today because I have to upload a vlog today and I have to film like two three videos today so yeah that's my life and yeah I'm sick I don't feel good I really don't so I will see you guys in the next clip I don't know what the next clip will be but I will see you guys in the next clip um, but I, I just wanted to check in are you guys okay it's like flu season. The weather is very bad. I feel like I might be getting the flu. I feel like it's the flu that I have. So I need to get medication for it. But are you good? How are you? Because sometimes, sometimes people really don't ask how are you. You know? Like, sometimes, like, it's, you don't hear people really say, how are you? Like, really, how are you? <laughs> so you, how are you? I'm asking you, how are you doing? You know? Uh, just comment below say I'm fine I'm alright you know something like that but yeah good morning and I'm gonna keep drinking my tea I love my cap I think you guys haven't seen it on the vlog but if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen it already but I love this cap it's just aesthetically pleasing I will link she's from Amazon obviously I'll link her below for you guys um and i think it's on my amazon storefront if you haven't checked it out it always has i mean i always have a link um in the description so please 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 check it out i work with amazon and i'm also an amazon influencer so i mean like affiliate marketer so majority all of the products that i link from amazon from here i mean all of the product that i link here from amazon um is I'm gonna be getting money from them so I just want you to know that <laughs> well okay I'll see you guys later all right <laughs>
it is much much later it's like almost 2 p.m obviously i haven't done anything i tried you know like i tried to like start doing my hair i don't have the strength for it i realized that like i'm tired literally every every few minutes when i try to stand for so long um but yeah i just really wanted to show you guys the bathroom my under sink bathroom organizer because i had picked that up a few it's been around for a while honestly it was around during last week's vlog and this week's vlog so i'm like you know what let me just unbox this with you guys show you guys and then in next week's vlog we can go ahead and um you know you guys are literally sitting on my got to be got to be glue like you're literally sitting on the got to be but <coughs> but yeah i just wanted to show you guys that and then in next week's vlog we'll go ahead and organize my under sink my bathroom under sink i also have some shoes so let me show you and then we can go ahead and close out this week's vlog the train is coming by so let's let, yeah let the train go by and then i can anyway i have some shoes from amazon so let's go ahead and look at what this looks like okay i've been taking a lot of these like sandal slippers from amazon literally collecting them this is from a brand i honestly can't read that but it's cute i like their little logo but this is what it looks like it's i don't know the name what they call it block heel i honestly have no idea but it's a sandal heel it's beige it's beautiful i wait this is beige or nude i think it's nude i don't know but this is what it looks like and it's really cute so yeah i have that hair i'm just gonna go put that away but yes guys i i'm gonna go ahead and close out this week's vlog here i said at the beginning of the vlog that this week hasn't been such like hasn't been so activity filled and to me that is fine and i ended up the week being ill so that's just the vibe that this week gave i'm not gonna lie but i'm not gonna talk too much thank you guys so much for watching i don't have my microphone plugged in so i'm hoping that my camera is able to pick up my audio just how she's supposed to okay just how you're supposed to ma'am <laughs> but anyway thank you guys so much for watching as you can see i am um, you know like i'm not a type to be sick so i don't know how to do it i don't know how to do it so i like to like move around and like you know do movements because i'm really not about to be in bed all day but thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in next week's vlog all right Bye.